What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some juke gameplay and today we are going to be talking about the Ibex. Is the Ibex the new SMG meta in Rogue Company? Let's head over and check it out. So as you can see here, these are the notes course this is the rogue company wiki page so if you need to know anything then go to the rogue company wiki page but we will run through these changes and then we will talk about the actual feel of the weapon the performance of the weapon if you will but first of all uh ibex is a mag fed surgical burst fire smg the mamba of smgs burst weapons interact with our system differently as each bullet influences accuracy and burst fire which tend to spike bloom and recoil this smg will have much faster bloom recovery than the others and a reduced recoil to compensate additionally we are lowering the number of bullets fired per burst but slightly increasing the damage to offset the loss this will be the most precise smg so we are keeping a close eye on it for balance in a future patch so the headshot damage was increased from 13 to 15 the body shot damage was increased from uh, 10 to 12 the burst was reduced from 5 down to 4 fire rate was reduced from 4.17 to 3.7 the mag size was reduced from 30 to 28. The accuracy was increased from 0.915 to 0.91. The crouch accuracy modifier has been completely removed. The base ADS accuracy modifier reduced from 0.1 to 0.05. The jump accuracy modifier reduced from negative 0.09 to negative 0.05. The max accuracy loss increased from 0.04 to 0.09. The accuracy return rate has been greatly increased and the recoil has been reduced. So all in all, what has my experience been playing with the Ibex? So the Ibex was one of those weapons where when it was first released into the game with Juke, it was very, very powerful. I mean, you could constantly get headshots with it. You were bursting people down like crazy. The mag size for the weapon at that time felt very appropriate for what that weapon was able to do. And then it got a little out of hand once people started using it more and more after like the first week. And it seems like there was some type of hot fix or patch rolled out specifically addressing what the Ibex was doing. And ever since that was rolled out, no other changes was done to the Ibex that I'm aware of until now. The Ibex has always been a weapon that's been very polarizing for a lot of people because it is a 5 uh, it was a five burst uh, weapon and of course with burst weapons in games that has pretty terrible latency you would get inconsistent shots whether it be up close or across the map and that is one of the major downfalls for the ibex in my opinion was you had five bursts if you only hit four or three of those bullets then yeah you were doing like 20 30 40 damage off of it um, at your optimal you know range that you were shooting people at but it just wasn't consistent enough for people to rely on the Ibex over time. Now, I will say that the Ibex is a much better weapon now. Is it a meta weapon? Possibly. I think that people that really want to get in there and learn how the Ibex actually functions fundamentally, I think that they will be absolutely surprised and they will absolutely start to gravitate towards it a little bit more, especially whenever you get it upgraded and then you start putting perks on top of it, like Gunsmith and things like that, to be able to maximize the output potential that the ibex actually has but i don't think people are going to do that people want to be able to hold w hold you know their fire button or hold the forward stick up and just run at people with smgs and burn them down they don't really want to sit there and take the time to learn the weapon to learn the recoil patterns and to see the benefits that weapons like the ibex actually has after all of the smg adjustments have happened uh, there are some instances still where I am getting some very questionable shots on people in a way where it's like, shouldn't that have hit more bullets than just one or two? Uh, but of course, that has a lot to do with latency and a lot of other outlying factors other than the weapon itself. But just on paper right now, in my opinion, the, the Ibex is a very, very good weapon. It's very fun to use. There is a very steep learning curve associated with this weapon. And if you really want to take the time to sit there and learn how the weapon 
actually works and performs, then I think that you will be pleasantly surprised with the output potential that you can get from the Ibex. It is fun to play with, man. I, I really have been enjoying the play style that the Ibex offers now over some of the other SMGs because you do have that four burst. You do have a little bit more of a uh, tighter uh, crosshair. You, you have a little bit less bloom or no bloom whatsoever. I mean, wherever you aim it, the bullets are going to go. It's just kind of dependent on some other outlying factors, whether something like a burst weapon can account for some of the other downfalls. Uh, I do like it a lot, though, and it feels good on Juke. It feels good on anybody, really, but I really find the most success with it on rogues like um, Mac and Umbra because of their perk sets that they have. So that's where you're really going to see the Ibex shine whenever people start... Ha uh, Whenever people are running it with characters that have really, really good specific perks to make their uh, weapon do the things that they need it to do. But I think that if people give it time and if people get in there and tinker with it, I absolutely think that the Ibex could be a contender for one of the most powerful weapons that's came out of the SMG changes, uh, in my opinion. I do like it a lot. I like the changes. I like the way that it's going. I like the direction of the weapon. And uh, hopefully they'll continue to fine tune it a little bit more. The only drawback that I have with the Ibex right now, other than the outlying factors like latency server and all that kind of stuff, is the smoothness of the recoil on it. Because it does shoot four bursts. And it's herky-jerky whenever you make the burst happen where it's not a fluid recoil pattern like it was before. Before, even when you had the five, it was a fluid recoil pattern either t up to the left or up to the right. Whenever you fire it now, it's jerk, 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 jerk. You know, it jerks, and it's it's very weird. And some people can find it very off-putting, and I understand that because it isn't something that is fluid. But if you can look past that and just not even worry about that jer that herky-jerky animation that happens whenever you're using the weapon and just try to ignore it as much as possible, then you will find a very rewarding experience while you're using it, at least in my opinion. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you tried the Ibex out since the SMG changes? And what has been your experience using the weapon? Do you feel like it's in a better spot now? Did you like it the way it was before? Or do you think that there needs to be some other larger change done with this weapon? so that it feels a little bit more in line with the rest of them. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button to become one of the 256 crew members. Lastly, on Thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m. Central Time, Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you're interested and available, please feel free to stop by and say hello there. Thanks for watching, guys. Over the course of three days. And it, it, it kind of makes your stomach hurt when you see it, too. He's one shot, Garbo.